place or let's start to watching the short video clip. Actually, so intentionally, the machine, the matrix allows the several survivors to fight with the matrix system. Uh, Neo is one of them. And uh, this is the guy who developed the uh, design the matrix system. And uh, uh, here, you have an answer my question. There are several times that the version of the matrix is a program, actually. Then the matrix, uh, because it's a system, it needs uh, power. So to get the power, they use the human being. But uh, if the human being just stay or the calm or nice, then they cannot get enough the energy. So they try to uh, the human being to fight Precisely. with the others intentionally, As so, you are then the they get the more the energy. System. So that's the uh, behind the story of the this their discussion. But the more important thing is that uh, they uh, argue whether matrix is uh, really the per perfect system. Yeah, sometimes the human being they write to be a part of a matrix system. The first matrix system. Because real life is not. Uh, really good, you know. Powerless, sublime, a triumph equaled only by its monumental figure. So, for example, they need to the decide what is the law for the law. So, of the so the if we, according to their discussion, the based on your history, architect the already designed what is a law, which means future. they can program I in the movie. I again frustrated by failure. I have since come to understand that the answer eluded me because it required a lesser mind, or perhaps a mind less bound by the parameters of perfection. Thus the answer was stumbled upon by another, an intuitive program, initially created to investigate certain aspects of the human psyche. If I am the father of the Matrix, she would undoubtedly be its mother. The Oracle. Properly is the, the as I was saying, she uh, stole the solution whereby the 99 percent of all test subjects get to the program as long as they were given a choice, even if they were only aware of the choice at a near unconscious level. While this answer functioned, it was obviously fundamentally flawed. He believed that he can make a function for all the kind of psyche where the emotion and everything in the matrix system, then the people do not realize whether I mean the matrix system or the real life. This is about Zion. You are here because Zion is about to be destroyed. It's every living inhabitant terminated its entire existence eradicated. <coughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Denial is the most predictable of all human responses. So behind the rest uh, monitor shows uh, all different kind of choices the, uh, and the near. become exceedingly the mission of the one is now to return to the source, allowing so a temporary the, the 
and in case uh, Neo should decide After whether which to we to select from the matrix, save the three entire three human being, what to save the Trinity. The Trinity is uh, uh, another character who is a fight. The outside of the beast to cover with the extermination of Zion will ultimately result in the extinction the of the entire Neo human race. We will save the entire life the rather than the Trinity, but the Neo decide. There are uh, but of survival we are prepared to accept. However, the relevant issue is whether or not you are ready to accept the responsibility for the death of every human being in this world. It's interesting reading your reactions. Your five predecessors were, by design, based on a similar predication, a contingent affirmation that was meant to create a profound attachment to the rest of your species, facilitating the function of the one. While the others experienced this in a very general way, your experience is far more specific vis-a-vis -vis love. Trinity. Apropos, she entered the Matrix to save your life at the cost of her own. No. Which brings us at last to the moment of truth wherein the fundamental flaw is ultimately expressed and the anomaly revealed as both beginning and end. There are two doors. The door to your right leads to the source and the salvation of Zion. The door to your left leads back to the Matrix to her and to the end of your species. As you adequately put, the problem is choice. But we already know what you are going to do, don't we? Already I can see the chain reaction, the chemical precursors that signal the onset of an emotion designed specifically to overwhelm logic and reason. An emotion that is already blinding you from the simple and obvious truth. She is going to die, and there is nothing you can do to stop it. Essential human delusion, simultaneously the source of your greatest strength and your greatest weakness. If I were you, I would hope that we don't meet again. We won't. Okay, so the reason I'm showing the, this movie is uh, I know that this is not uh, possible to make the weird uh, matrix system, like the, whether I'm going to fall in love with uh, the someone or the, whether we can decide uh, I'm going to stop the class here right now or not. Okay, sometimes the many of the decision is there is without any reason, the emotionally or the something, the uncertainty, so just to decide, okay? So the newest decision is one of them, the architect actually the expect uh, based on the <coughs> probability he will try to <coughs> save the entire human species the species rather than the trinity itself. So, but the what we are interested in, the, in this movie is whether is it really possible to make the uh, decision of the, such a, the human being, like the, whether I'm going to buy the, this one. That may be the easier problem rather than the fall in love, okay? But uh, even sometimes the emotion. So that's the similar thing. So it's kind of every time we need to decide whether I'm going to buy the, this one, whether I'm going to apply the, this school, whether I'm going to the, register this one, whether, whether I'm going to meet the, her or him, and something like that. Is it really possible? I was doubt the two uh, until I see the, the main topic of the, this class, the big data. But uh, when I... Uh, when I'm researching and uh, when I'm teaching and uh, this course, maybe a little bit possible, not fully uh, possible, but uh, partially maybe possible because of the such a data. So nowadays uh, our the society and the community and uh, our the era is totally different from the 100 years ago, even the 10 years ago. So, so far, so if you already took the science class, uh, we try to learn to find the problem, then build the hypothesis, then the support to such a hypothesis and the prove it. So it's a hypothesis based the science. But nowadays, sometimes without any the uh, knowledge, so just uh, considering the number of data, we can solve the problem. 
which is called the data-driven the society and the data-driven science. So if we consider, the, if we can take care of the, such a big data, then maybe the partially possible to solve the problem of the, what to build the matrix style the system. I'm not uh, going to say the matrix is the perfect system. That's our goal, even though we are in the computer science. But the, sometimes the, the partially, or the, some of the problem can be solved, resolved by using the, such a big data. So that is the uh, main topic that we are going to discuss the, throughout the semester. Then the, eventually what we want to do is not just, uh, there are many different aspects to see the big data, such as the social logic or the social science. They try to use the uh, big data to solve the problem of the social, uh, social science. Okay? Whether we can the, uh, solve the problem of the bullying in the class or the, uh, whether we can uh, the, solve the problem of the poverty and uh, by using the big data. But the, what we are interested in this class is the, whether we can manage the, such a big data and whether we can the, process such a big data the, in terms of computer science. So, for example, this is uh, another example of using the big data. It's a new operating system provided by the Skynet in the Terminator, right? If, we, if you watch the Terminator movie, they try to uh, the Skynet actually try to uh, launch the new it's a kind of operating system, Genesis. It's to cover the everything, even including the economics and the uh, uh, government <coughs> and uh, so government, everything the considered in the computer system. But it's not just a sci-fi movie in the sci-fi movie. If you take a look at, uh, for example, one of the company Google, Google provides uh, most of the functions, uh, most of the similar things that we that I introduced so far in the matrix or the Skynet. Think about the uh, Google Map, for example, uh, the uh, Google Map. So they can actually uh, keep track of the where you are and the where you visit the every. Okay, based on that, uh, they can provide it. They can uh, actually suggest the, the 8 a.m. if you just oversleep, it's time to go to the school. Because you have been uh, going to school at the, the similar time, similar day of the week. Okay, by the, just processing your the data, they can actually uh, suggest, not only suggest, eventually decide what you are going to do. So. Uh, and also, the, if you take a look at, uh, uh, for example, the Gmail, the, using the Gmail, they can plan the, all your, you don't need uh, any secretary the, by the, um, just uh, checking the email, the, they can make the plan of the, your next week or next month and so on. So, in this the class, the, throughout the semester, we are going to deal with we cannot uh, cons uh, deal with uh, all of the this uh, in this class. Instead, uh, from the uh, computer science point of view, whether we can uh, manage, whether we can collect the uh, big data, and whether we can uh, uh, main the data, then how we can uh, main the data, then how we can process the data. But uh, we are not going to talk the details of the uh, algorithm, how to process like the uh, data mining or the machine learning algorithm, the, the specific algorithm, we are not going to discuss the details. So I can just uh, the briefly introduce, but uh, if you are interested in the, such a details of the algorithm, you can take the data mining class or the big data, either uh, deep learning class or the uh, similar classes. But in this class, we will focus on the, such a thing. Before we start, I try to uh, briefly uh, introduce the syllabus <coughs> of the this class. Uh, first of all, the, I'm very sorry to announce the last minute the change of the classroom. I met the rest office the, between the 5 p.m. Then, the, fortunately, the, this room, I expect the that room. So I thought that is 107. So then the, I went to that room, but the, either of them is fine. Because we are going to use the 
the Wi-Fi firmware. So other classroom are very limited to connect the, at the same time. So this room is uh, the, pretty much okay to connect the uh, Wi-Fi. So uh, and also the uh, we have the convenient uh, classroom. So from now on, the, we have class in this room on uh, Wednesday, 6 to 8.30. Okay, so I'm going to change the syllabus. And also this room, uh, class is closely related with uh, uh, distance learning. So we uh, are going to provide a video lecture for the distance learning student, but uh, all the activity and the classroom, the uh, contents are the, uh, identical. The only the difference is the uh, attendance. But uh, I strongly suggest the uh, online, the distance in class, a uh, student to attend the class uh, to that is much better uh, to uh, participate in the classroom and uh, including the project. So I'm going to introduce myself uh, later uh, more. And uh, my club, my office is in South Shore, 107. So the main problem is the uh, uh, entrance door is locked. So uh, I put, if I'm in my office, so you can uh, uh, press a button to uh, request to open the door. So I can uh, open the, unlock the door. Otherwise, the, another the postdoctoral student uh, can uh, open the door. So in case uh, neither of them are available, you need to contact uh, me or the GA, so then they can access the uh, Sarsol. And uh, most of the Wednesday afternoon, I'm available. Uh, so you can uh, email me or the combine during the office hour. Otherwise, you can just uh, <coughs> uh, send a message to me to have a meeting. Uh, I have a GA, the Murali. Uh, he will be in charge of the... Yes, I'm Murali Krishnan, and uh, my email is there in that. And anytime, uh, if you have any doubts, you can do it. Thank so you. he will be in charge of the most of the exercise lab and uh, help the, your project. Um, regarding to the project, I will introduce later. Um, more, maybe the next time. Is it my heartbeat? And we have the textbook, but uh, you don't have to purchase. So it's just for, as a reference, and also you can find the uh, online version from the internet uh, without any problem. So uh, if you can check the uh, class website. So you can, uh, this is the kind of the, kind of cookbook. So you don't have to possess it, so you don't have to study, but just read for your the, uh, information. Also, you can find the latest information from the uh, uh, Apache Hadoop website or the many other websites. So I, don't, uh, I do not push it for you to buy the textbook. Okay, but for your, it's just uh, the definitive guide, which means it's combined all of the general information. So if you want to get the all general information at one time, it's also good uh, the uh, reference uh, the book, so you can read. But recently it's not updated, so you can find most of the information from the website. And uh, uh, I'm not going to use uh, this textbook uh, directly. Uh, most of the information you can find from the my class lecture. And the main activity of the, this class is the uh, lecture and the project. So it's a semester long project. So I think that we pretty much the reasonable number of the students, so each student uh, can have the own project, it's the individual and so we will, I will introduce more about the project the next week. So this is a uh, class schedule throughout the semester. So uh, you can check uh, what we are doing. So basically, the half of the semester we will talk about the uh, map use and the head ecosystem, and uh, the other half will be talk about the spark and the other things. So I will introduce what is the map 
students and uh, my HDFS and also everybody as well. And also, it's not in the <coughs> class schedule. I'd like to add one or two, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, I got the, <coughs> the flu two weeks ago, but it's not fully recovered yet. So during the daytime, it's okay. But the evening and the afternoon and evening, is a little bit temperature and a little bit dizzy. Uh, so uh, please excuse me if I coughing or something, so you don't have to be around mm -hmm. me. So <laughs> be careful. It's really, really the severe flu and uh, very, very hard to recover. So almost two weeks. Okay, so about uh, this semester, I'd like to add a uh, uh, couple of sessions for the uh, big data solution for the Google GCP, which is a big query. Uh, which is not ready yet, so one, probably one, the, one day probably enough. <coughs> so we will have the, another exercise left to do the um, big query. It's pretty much uh, simple. And also, for those who would like to use the uh, Google uh, the solution for your the project, who I will <coughs> Just like the other the classes that I'm teaching, it's too bright. Yeah, I just want to tell about the first one. Oh, uh, this one? Yeah. It's not turned off. Yeah. It's yeah. not turned off. Oh, it's turned off? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to introduce the uh, Google Cloud platform. So it's optional whether you are using the GCP for your project or not, but uh, it's good for you to know the, how to use the uh, cloud computing. So maybe next week, so I will give the, um, the fifty dollars the coupon that you can use. As an, it's not only just for the <coughs> the Google BigQuery, but the, for your the practice, so you can the, use the. Uh, the Google Cube, uh, the GCP coupon. Uh, so next class, please bring your own laptop. Then the, we will have the 30 minute to the 40 minute the exercise lab for the GCP first time. <coughs> Any question regarding to the uh, schedule and the syllabus? You can find the. Uh, some of the link, the reading assignment, and uh, this one, the, I will the, introduce more about the project the next week. And uh, you can just uh, follow the schedule. The reading assignment is uh, just uh, read the uh, uh, link to the paper, then submit one or two pages somewhere. Okay, so for your the study. And, uh, Right now, the big data and the distance, distance learning class are the characteristic, even though it's the name is here, so you don't have to worry about it. So if you go to the canvas, so the reading assignment, you can submit the one or two pages summary by the due date. So then the, you can follow the uh, schedule for the whole project. I will uh, explain the later details. And uh, we have the midterm exam. Uh, final exam, usually I do not have the final exam for the research level classes, but uh, if your overall performance is not good enough to grade, so we will have the final exam. One time I had a final exam, because uh, most of the uh, project, it's a long time ago, was not, uh, were not good enough. So then uh, we will have the uh, end of semester. So please to use the canvas for the communication. So if you have any question or any request or the doubt, please send the canvas message instead of the email. So uh, every day I receive a bunch of email. Half of them are the spam, the junk mail. So I just throw away. So 
uh, and also response time is uh, the one or two days for the, the UV email. But uh, usually the campus message I quickly respond. So please uh, uh, use the campus message for the communication regarding to the this class. Go back to the slide. Any other question before we start the first lecture? Uh, today I'd like to introduce what is a big data. It's just an overview of the semester, so then you uh, can get uh, something uh, inside of the, what we are going to learn the, in this class. Thing. So first I'd like to introduce myself. So uh, actually the, my the career started with uh, one of the bank in Korea. And then the, I got the job as a database administrator. At the time, the, I didn't know anything about the computer science, uh, anything about the data, anything about the database. The only reason why I hired as a database administrator was uh, my major. So I majored in the mathematics education. So my supervisor uh, picked me up so due to my the major, the later. So. Uh, he believed uh, I can understand uh, what is the data structure, what is the data, especially the relational database, because at the time, at the early 1990 and the middle of 1990, the, in IT, the industry, the downsizing was the hot issue. Downsizing means the, at the time, the most of the banking system, or the, the, the company has uh, centralized the server mostly IBM the, uh, server, so which is uh, huge. Then put the everything, customer information and the transaction and everything. Then the, in case the, they need the more the uh, processing or the more computing power, they need to migrate to another big one. So it's costly and uh, takes a time to so centralize service. They, they like to downsize, downsize a slim, make the slim the server. The, one of the reasons, it's a personal computing power at the time is a very the high up so, and the very cheap. So if you think about the uh, 19, middle of the 1990 and end of 1990, the, each and every family can purchase the personal computer. So similarly, so in the company, so each employee can have the, such a the personal computer, the, which means the server doesn't have to process everything, just process the uh, core part, then send all the data to the client. It's a client and server environment. So it's a, then the client can take the over the sum of the job from the, the server side, it's the downside. Another reason is a network. So network bandwidth is getting higher and connected everywhere. So they don't have to, the centralized server actually has the number of dummy terminal. Dummy terminal is just the no processing power, the no connect, it's just the CIT monitor and the mouse only. So due to the, such a, the reason, the uh, company and the IT, the, they try to make the uh, centralized server uh, the, into the uh, downside slim the server. So, uh, at the time, the, for the server side, the one of the popular, uh, the server side, the uh, server, it was the uh, relational database the system. So, like the Oracle or Informatica. So, I was the uh, selected to manage the, such a the relational database model. And then uh, I started my first career as a DBA. Then uh, continued to the work. Then later, uh, once because I didn't have the background in computer science, so I'd like to know more about the, what is the computer itself. Even though I learned from my the supervisor, he actually the engineer to develop the, uh, which is not the popular, but the, he developed a real operating system. And uh, probably you know the name of the car, the Hyundai. Hyundai actually had the IT company a long time before. They developed the operating system their own. It's Tycom uh, in Korea, but uh, was uh, the, like the many other operating systems, it couldn't survive. But uh, he actually the 
was the main engineer to develop the operating system. So actually, I learned a lot from him. However, I'd like to know more academically. So I got the master's degree as a night school, which means that during the daytime, I worked for the company. And uh, during the evening time, I studied then got the degree. Then finally, <coughs> I want to uh, know more about the, how the database <coughs> uh, was uh, the organized inside. So I'd like to research on that uh, database. So finally in 2002, 2001, 2002, yes, 2002, one year after the 9-11, so I decided to study abroad because it was not easy to study the PhD, continue PhD while I work for the company in my hometown. So I decided to study abroad and then, however, when I met uh, uh, several professors in my old university, uh, I tried to study database. Then the, all of the professors said, there is nothing you can study in the database. Uh, that's true. So still, I have several students. Uh, I want to study or I want to do the project in database. But frankly speaking, the, there is not much opportunity to study and uh, research on the database itself because the, there are several reasons I'd like to introduce later, but the relational database which is the leading the database model is uh, too concrete to be changing. So it's an industry that owns the most of the part of the, such a, the relational database. The, it, so since the 1990 and uh, so far, so still the relational database model is the uh, top the database model used in the industry, more than half <coughs> still. So which means the, I can teach the relational database in the last 10 years and the next the 10 years or so. But the recently it has been changed a little bit. One of the reasons is the big data that we are going to discuss. So I will introduce. I uh, will uh, explain the later the more details of why. So anyway, so then finally I decide to study multimedia database because the database itself there are not much opportunity. What one of professor who was my supervisor he suggested why not study or the research on the video. So I studied the video processing and the video database management. Then uh, finally uh, I am the professor at the University of Bridgeport. Okay. And then the, I'm the, uh, I have the research lab, my time here information group. So one of the PhD students is uh, Ali Daisy here, and the several the master students. Okay, so this is my goal of life. So mostly done. They are still the I'm doing the sharing my experience with the student. Okay, so if you have any question about myself, so you can ask uh, during the semester. And right now, the I don't know, even I don't understand what I'm talking about uh, right now. So it's uh, really, it's kind of in the dream. It looks like the talking to the something others. So you probably feel the same thing after taking the Tylenol. <laughs> okay.